most men aren't going to tell you, right? Okay, but listen up, everybody. <laughs> men desire a, a woman that can help them feel emotionally safe, right? What do I mean by that? It starts with allowing him to feel heard. One of the biggest, probably the biggest complaint I get from men, no, probably the second biggest complaint I get from men in a relationship is they don't feel heard, right? They feel like they don't have a voice. And it takes a certain type of woman who's in her feminine energy to allow him to have a space to feel hurt. Most men don't have spaces to talk about things other than sports and cars and golf. That's what they do with their friends. But there's this emotional piece to us that's deep, that's vulnerable, that we have no one else to share it with, but usually our partners, right? So if, if, if a man comes to you and you don't make him feel emotionally safe, he can't open up to you. So he can't, he can't really experience true intimacy. Right. So if I'm choosing a partner long term and she doesn't make me feel emotionally safe, why would I sign up for a lifetime of that? Right. That make a lot of sense to me. Right. So I think there's ways that women can do that. But a lot of women just aren't aware. They mm -hmm. aren't aware that, hey, what he needs you to do is listen without responding all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So just listen to what he's saying and, and validating his feelings. Most men's feelings don't feel validated. If you look on the Internet at any time of day. When men talk, women aren't necessarily listening. They're deflecting, right? And they are they are switching the subject, right? To turn it around on him. What he what did he do wrong? That's, mm -hmm. that's what you hear all day. So men hear that all day. So guess what? Women ask me all the time. Well, how come men don't talk? Well, I'm not talking if I don't feel heard, mm -hmm. right? So or emotional if you don't, safety or if is you don't feel safe. Or if I don't feel safe, right? If I don't feel emotionally safe, I don't feel like you're going to validate my feelings. I don't feel like you know, you can actually listen. I'm not signing up for a lifetime of that. And a lot of women do it and don't even realize you're, they're doing it, right? So that's, that's what I would invite women to, to do is listen. Just be a really good listener, right? And validate his feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what? I have had some other men um, in past interviews that have shared some around this. And I've had conversations with my husband about this. So when women think about safety, of course, we think of the emotional piece, but we also think of the physical safety piece. Mm -hmm. So for men, it's not so much the physical safety piece, because I don't think men experience that quite the same way as women do. However, I think the emotional safety piece is a very, very vulnerable area for men. And I think you're right. I don't think most men are going to talk about this or necessarily tell you about this. But I think it's really deep and I think it's really, really important because you can be, if you're the woman in a man's life, you can be the only safe outlet he has to share his hopes, his dreams, his disappointments, his heartaches, his failures, his fears. And if you're not a safe place to share that, he's got nowhere else to go in most cases. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we need it. We need, I think now men are starting to become a little more, it's not as taboo for men to, to talk about their feelings. But it's still, we still have a long way to go. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't get it, don't get it twisted. We have a long way to go. So, you know, a lot of men are, especially uh, men that are, I forget the, is the baby boomer generation, right? Feelings don't exist there, mm -hmm. right? Because you got to survive, right? And so a lot of these men aren't willing to talk about it, but they feel it. I think mm -hmm. that's the key. So I think women have to understand that about men, that men have feelings too. And they need to feel emotionally safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is a really powerful one. Really, really important. And and in addition to listening, is there anything else? Are there any other tips or any other ideas you feel that you can share, Troy, that can help women to know how to do this, to be that safe mm -hmm. space? Absolutely. I invite women to ask questions, right? And, and I know it gets tiring, right? Because men will say, I'm fine, right, all the time. But it doesn't, he appreciates it when you ask. When you care about, hey, how was your day today? Hey, how are you, right? Tell, tell me what was the best thing about your day today, right? T tell me how you felt today. Like, so find questions that invite him to share. And when he feels safe sharing, he gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And he feels like it's okay. Here's the second thing. Don't ever throw back in his face what he shares with you, mm -hmm. right? And I think this happens often. The argument happens you know, and a woman will throw back in his face what he said, you know, about his feelings earlier. Men, I'm telling you, men shut down immediately when that happens because they're like, oh, stove is hot. I'm not touching it anymore. I'm not going to tell you anything else about how I feel about anything because you're going to come back. And you're going to use it against me later. 
right? Because women will say, I always tell women this, you can't want men to have feelings only when it's convenient for you, right? Mm-hmm. Only when it feels good to you. So if you're asking him to share something, remember, emotions aren't all good. So I need to feel emotionally safe to, to be truthful with you as well, even if it's not what you want to hear. You see what I mean? That's a part of emotional safety. I don't feel like I'm getting my head bitten off if I don't like your red dress or whatever it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> that I tell you I don't like, you know, or however you are acting that day. If I didn't like it, and you reflect it on me or you throw it back in my face, you can cancel it. We won't talk anymore. We'll just be quiet and we'll say, fine, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. So those are two things I think women can definitely do. Ask really good questions and make sure you never throw anything back in his face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are really good tips. And, you know, one thing I've found, um, you know, now having been married with 15 for 15 years, I've had an opportunity to practice a lot of these things Mm -hmm. that I learned. And one thing that I found that helps in terms of the questions is like you're saying, asking open ended questions. If I say, how was your day? He's going to say fine. But Mm -hmm. if I say, what happened today? What was the best thing that happened today? Or what 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 interesting thing do you have to tell me about your day today or something like that? I'm just mm-hmm. giving a couple examples. Then I'm more likely to get a little more, mm-hmm. a little more. He'll talk a little more. He'll share a little more. And, and guess what? The beauty of that is now you feel connected too, right? Because yeah, you right. got him to share. So it's a beautiful thing. You feel because women complain to me all the time about men not having, um, they say he, he lacks emotional availability right? Mm-hmm. Or he, he never talks to me. He doesn't share anything, you know, that kind of thing. I'm like, well, you got to create the environment for it. And then y'all will feel even more connected. So it's, it's a, it's a two-way street to have that emotional safety. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And we long for that emotional safety. We want that. And mm-hmm. so um, it's, again, coming back to men do have feelings, men do have emotions. And the difference is, a lot of times for women, we have other outlets, friends, sisters, moms, maybe that we can share a lot of these feelings with and we can talk on these levels. And And I think you're so right, because I, I come from a large family and a pretty close family. And I've observed my brothers and brother-in-laws over the years at these family gatherings and everything. And, and I think we're all pretty close, but still their interactions are like, you know, slap on the back. Hey, dude. And they're kind of teasing each other. And rousing each other and there's there's not a lot of like deep conversation going yeah. on between them. even though they would say they're all close like they're yeah. a band of brothers but it's not quite the same <laughs> there's no depth to it it's just you know men tend to, to gather around activities and doing things you know women i've seen women sit around in groups and talk for hours oh yeah oh, just yeah. hours get their glasses of wine and just talk and talk and talk men typically don't do that unless we're talking you know smack to each other <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I'm so glad you brought this one up. 